Hey, what's up guys? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up a VPN with your TV, or in this case, more specifically, your Roku enabled TV. Now, whether you have a TV that just has a Roku stick plugged in it, or if you have a TCL kind of Roku built in TV, this guide is for you. We're going to show you how to set up your VPN, how to unblock streaming services, and all that kind of stuff. So let's get right into it. Hey guys, just a reminder to check out vpntierlist.com. If you want to help support the channel, I recommend visiting my website using Brave. It's a great browser for privacy advocates. And if you guys visit vpntierlist.com by downloading Brave and using it by going to brave.com slash tom352, you can help support the channel. So once you have Brave installed and ready to go, you can check out vpntierlist.com. It's a collection of all my ratings on the channel, and you're going to find lots of helpful information here on how to choose a VPN. Anyways, back to the video. So guys, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be coming at this like from the perspective, the reason you're putting your VPN or trying to use it with your TV or your Roku device is probably because you want to unblock streaming services. If you want to unblock the USA version of Netflix or stuff like that, if you want to unblock maybe UK content or some other countries, um, this is going to be the method for you. And for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using TorGuard VPN. That's because TorGuard VPN presents the easiest way to unblock services and integrate VPN with Wi-Fi. Now, my other top rated VPN that works well with streaming, namely ExpressVPN, is a little bit um, kind of annoying. It's very intuitive in some ways, but the way it works is that you're pretty much going to have to flash their software onto your router which is gonna be kind of annoying, kind of preventing you from using the default kind of software. With this method, we're not gonna to have to install any software and you're just gonna upload a file into your router and then kind of connect to the VPN server that way. So for the purpose of this video to unlock streaming services on and get your VPN on your Roku, we're gonna need four things. We're gonna need a VPN router, a VPN subscription, a streaming subscription for whatever you're trying to stream, whether Netflix, Prime Video, Hulu, BBC iPlayer, or whatever, and an actual TV slash Roku device. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be talking about kind of two router browns that you can pick out and kind of use for this method. You could pretty much do it on Asus and Linksys routers. You can also probably do it on other routers as well. Some of the newest routers can easily do this method very easily. You have a couple different options and I'll put them down in the description down below. If you're looking for something lower end where you don't need as high speeds, you could go for something like the AC1200, AC1300, Asus dual bound router, which is only 70 bucks, around $50 if you get the lower model, the 1200. Or if you're looking for something more beefy, more powerful, better coverage throughout your house, maybe if you're a gamer or you really want to get 4K streaming, then you might want to go for something like the Linksys um, WRT AC3200 for 250 or the WRT1900 ACS for around 180. I'll put these down in the description down below. If you click those, you will help support the channel. So with either of these methods, it's gonna be pretty simple. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna be using the WRT AC3200 and implementing it that way. Now we already covered the VPN router that you're going to need, so let's go ahead and talk about the VPN subscription you're going to need. We're gonna be using the streaming bundle from TorGuard VPN. Go ahead and click pricing option and details. Click buy B VPN for maybe one month starting out, or if you want to get a better deal, go for the yearly package. Um, now what you're going to see is that you can enter in promo code right here, promo code Netflix, and you're going to validate that code and automatically get 50% off. So it's going to be $11 a month or $60 a year, which I might want to mention is also more cheaper than ExpressVPN, which is $13 a month or $100 a year. So this is a really good deal with this promo code, guys. Um, next thing we're going to be wanting to think about is that we get two IPs with TorGuard. So you could pick from any of these options, whether USA, UK, France, Germany, Spain, and Japan. Most people will go for USA and UK if they want to unblock the USA version of Netflix and BBC iPlayer and stuff like Hulu, Prime Video that are USA restricted. Sometimes people go for USA and Japan. If they want to watch Terrace House or some anime or something like that, that might be more on the Japanese version of Netflix. So you're gonna pick out those two that you want. And for this part, I've created entire videos talking about how to get the streaming bundle checked out. In fact, I looked it up and this is the video right here. So if you want more information on how to get these streaming IPs, this is the video to watch. So go ahead and watch that one. It will run you through every step to get it. 
So once you have to, the streaming IP is ready, um, or if you've kind of figured it out, let's get on to the next step. So I already assumed that you're gonna have your Roku device and your TV as well, so we're ready for the next step. So guys, basically what you're going to do is you want to going to set up your router. Depending on the router you picked, it's gonna be pretty similar. You're gonna have these basic kind of options here. This is a Linksy setup, and Asus is gonna be very similar. There's gonna be a VPN section under advanced settings or just the, the settings overall. Should be pretty easy to find on both Linksys and Asus routers. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the VPN client section where it says choose file. So guys, basically what you're gonna do now is go into your TorGuard login panel or your TorGuard account panel. Go up to tools and then find open VPN generator. You're gonna click on that and it's gonna take you to this page. Um, so we're gonna be using Asus, whether you're on Linksys or Asus, it doesn't really matter. Just go ahead and pick the Asus one. Now for this IP section, this is very important. This is where you're gonna put one of the streaming IPs that you got with um, your um, tour guard support. They're gonna send you two IPs. So you're gonna put one in here. You can generate that config. So you can have one file for that one. And then you can also generate another config file for the other IP. So you have two different config files for the two IPs that you got. I'm just gonna be using a sample one for the purpose of this video because my streaming IP has actually ran out. Um, since I'm in the United States, I'm not using VPN for streaming as much as some people outside will be. So here we go. We have, this could be a sample streaming IP that you would have received from support. We're gonna go ahead and leave all this um, as is. And then you're gonna click generate config file. And then it's just going to save the file. And you're gonna make sure to wanna know where that file is. It's gonna save to my desktop. So I'm gonna click save. And now I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna click choose file. And now I'm gonna get that file and upload it. Now this is gonna be your login credentials for TorGuard VPN, your client credentials, not your credentials that you log into the website. So basically you're gonna enter in the password, you're gonna click connect, and it's going to connect. Now for the purpose of this video, I'm just using a sample information here, so it's not gonna collect properly. But once you do this, you're gonna be connected to that VPN server through that IP and that's how you're gonna do it. With Asus, it's gonna be pretty similar. You're gonna upload that config file and then you're just gonna to connect to that file and it's gonna be pretty self-explanatory from there once you upload the file. So now it's kind of waking out because I uploaded a sample. So guys, once you connect to that file, once you connect to your VPN, you're gonna be connected and your router is gonna be broadcasting that VPN signal per se. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your Roku. I'm not filming my TV right now just because just I'm kind of lazy and this will be good enough. So basically what you're gonna do is go into the settings, go to network, and then you're going to find that router signal. So whatever you named your router, it might be default still, you're just gonna find it and connect to it. And that's going to give you that connection from the VPN router to therefore use on streaming services. So once you're connected to this, you could go into Netflix and then watch the USA version of Netflix or whatever version you're gonna wanna watch because it thinks you're gonna be in the location of your streaming IP that you plugged into the router. All right, guys, that's pretty much it from there on. This is a little bit of a process, so let me know down in the comments down below if you need help doing it at any point in the line, and I'll be sure to help you out in the comments. If you guys want to help support the channel, check out the tier list as well for other VPN options. I do think TorGuard is the best option for unblocking services on a Roku or just any kind of smart Wi-Fi connected device. If you are looking for an easier method to do this without needing a router, you could purchase a Fire Stick, download the TorGuard app, and then just put your streaming IP in there and connect. It's honestly much easier than doing this method, but this method is specifically for Roku. So for anyone who doesn't want to bother with this method, go ahead and try the Fire Stick method. I've outlined that on videos on the channel as well, and I'll put a link down in the description for that as well. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope everything made sense, and I'll see you again very soon.